In this video, we're going to simplify the expression 3ab squared times the quantity 2a to the 4th b squared cubed all over 6a to the 5th b to the 7th, and then the entire fraction is squared. This problem involves several exponent properties that we will need to employ in order to simplify the expression. In order to decide which exponent property to apply in which order, we will keep in mind the order of operations to help us simplify. At several points along the way, there is some flexibility as to which rule we apply in which order. However, order of operations will guarantee we start at the right place and end at the right place. Order of operations tells us to start with the innermost parentheses and simplify what we can inside there. There's nothing we can simplify with 2a to the 4th b squared, so we'll move on inside the larger parentheses to the exponents or power rules. We do have an exponent of 3 outside the parentheses here, and we'll put that exponent onto each factor because they're all multiplied inside. This will give us 3ab squared times, be careful with the 2, the 2 is a base and the 3 is an exponent. We do not multiply 2 times 3 and get 6. Instead, this means we have 2 to the 3rd power, which is 8. However, on the a, a to the 4th, the 4 is an exponent, and the power of a power rule tells us to multiply the exponents. 4 times 3 is 12, b to the 2 times 3 is 6. It is still all over 6a to the 5th, b to the 7th, and the entire thing is still squared. Still working inside the larger exponents, I'm sorry, still working inside the larger parentheses, we also know there is an invisible set of parentheses around the numerator, asking us to multiply the numerator together so that it's completely simplified before we worry about reducing the denominator. So let's do that next. Multiplying the numbers, 8 times 3 is 24. For the a's, the product rule tells us that if we have a to the 1st and a to the 12th, we add those exponents together, showing there's a total of 13 a's multiplied in the numerator. Similarly, with the b's, we'll add the exponents 2 and 6 to find a total of 8 in the numerator. This is still all over 6, a to the 5th, b to the 7th, and the entire thing is still squared. Continuing on with multiplying and dividing, we'll start dividing using our quotient rule. 24 over 6 reduces to 4, like always. And the quotient rule of exponents tells us to subtract exponents to know how many are left after we divide out. 13 in the numerator, with 5 a's dividing out, leaves us with a to the 8th. Similarly, with the b's, b to the 8th, subtract out 7, leaves us with b to the 1st, or just b. The entire thing is still squared. Finally, we have simplified the larger parentheses as much as possible to 4a to the 8th b. Now we are ready to say that the entire thing is squared. Because it's only multiplication inside the parentheses, we can put the squared onto each factor. Be careful with the 4, we do not end up with 4 times 2 or 8 because 4 is a base, not an exponent. What this really means is 4 squared, which is 16. However, on the a's, the 8 is an exponent, and so using the power of a power rule, we do multiply 8 times 2 to get 16, and b to the second power. Each variable appears only once, so we know we have our final answer of 16 a to the 16th b squared. We found our final answer applying our exponent properties using the order of operations as a guide to know where to start and end.